now on a salvage barge to be brought back to shore. Hello, everyone. I'm Sharon Tay. And I'm Juan Fernandez. This is KCAL 9 News at 4, and we're streaming on CBSN Los Angeles. Well, investigators hope the conception will hold the key to finding out what caused the boat to catch fire and sink. The Santa Barbara Sheriff just talked about the disaster and the 34 victims. KCAL 9's Amy Johnson is live at the Sheriff's Department with the update. Amy? Uh, that's right, Sharon. The news conference just wrapped up a short time ago, and the sheriff named all 34 victims involved, including the one that was found just yesterday, a woman found in a nearby cove. Now, again, we have video of that wreckage that was slowly brought to the surface this afternoon and placed on a barge. It will slowly be moved to a secure location. Also today, the National Transportation Safety Board released a preliminary report saying all six crew members on board Conception were asleep when the fire broke out early September 2nd, but a lawyer for the owner of the dive boat disputes those claims. Now, boats like Conception are required to have at least one crew member keep watch at night. There are still plenty of questions about what started the deadly fire that killed those 34 people, and the answer could still be a year or more away. This was uh, a very challenging case all around. Uh, the location, the, the, the relatively remote location, 22 miles or so away from the coastline of Santa Barbara, 26 or so away from Channel Islands Harbor in Ventura County, uh, was such that it was a, a lengthy response initially during the um, rescue operation and then at the recovery operation, it continues also to be challenging. Now, the Coast Guard will now have custody of the boat, and the uh, federal agencies are now taking over this investigation. Reporting live in Santa Barbara, Amy Johnson, KCAL 9 News.